Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, this time I'm going to be reviewing uh, what I thought was a delightful movie, uh, The Gentleman. Uh, it's written and directed by Guy Ritchie. Uh, you might know him from such films as The Man from Uncle or uh, both Sherlock Holmes films uh, featuring Robert Downey Jr. Uh, more recently, he did uh, uh, Aladdin, the live action film uh, for Disney that just came out. Uh, and he, uh, if you don't know anything about Guy Ritchie, uh, he definitely, besides those movies, uh, he definitely has his own uh, particular type of filmmaking, uh, similar to, you know, certain directors uh, and producers have their own sort of style that, you know, they bring to bear when they uh, make movies. And you think about people like Michael Bay, he's known for big explosions and things of that nature, uh, big action type films, or M. Night Shyamalan for a while, who every one of his films had a twist, uh, or Quentin Tarantino, his films are always very violent and uh, very centered on dialogue and characters. And Guy Ritchie too uh, has his own particular type of filmmaking. Uh, so I'll start it off by saying that this film is very much in that same vein. Uh, if you are a fan of you know any of those other films that I've mentioned, um, you kind of know what type of film you're getting into, what type of film you expect when you see this type of movie. Uh, and if you enjoyed those, you'll enjoy this one. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about it, uh, it stars Matthew McConaughey, uh, Colin Farrow, uh, Michelle Dockery. I'm having a hard time remembering names even though I've just seen it. Uh, but uh, Charlie Hunnam is another one, uh, Jeremy Strong. Uh, but what the film is about uh, is basically you've got this gangster uh, and he's trying to get out of the business. Uh, and so he's going to sell off. He has a drug empire. Uh, in uh, the UK and he's trying to get out of it. He's like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to somebody else and kind of chaos ensues from there uh, in him trying to sell off his enterprise. Um, Matthew McConaughey stars as uh, the protagonist or drug dealer, if you will. Um, it's got a 72% uh, Rotten Tomato score, 85% audience score. Uh, it's got an average, I think it was a 6.3 6, uh, 6 out of 10 for the critics, and then uh, 4.3 out of 5 stars, I believe it is, for the audience. Uh, tell you right up front, I gave it an 8 out of 10. Uh, once again, I knew uh, what type of film, basically, that I was expecting, uh, seeing that this was a Guy Ritchie film. Uh, but even beyond that, I really enjoyed uh, the setup to this film. Uh, for me, uh, it's anything but conventional. So you might uh, say that it's uh, somewhat conventional when you've seen his type of films, uh, but just for your average movie goer, it's not a conventional film. Uh, I like the way that they set things up uh, without giving it too much away. Uh, a lot of the story is told uh, from the perspective of someone on the outside who was making inferences and you know who wasn't privy to the gang but you know he's trying to get something from the gang uh he's a journalist and he comes not really a journalist but we'll call him a journalist and he comes and say hey i know all about your guys operations and this is how i know about it and so a lot of the story is told from his perspective uh, and because it's told from an outside observer, you know, there's obviously things that he guesses on, the things that he wasn't privy to. Uh, and this kind of works well for Guy Ritchie to be able to establish this whole narrative of, you know, what he likes to do, where there's a lot of twists and turns and uh, different plot devices and a lot of different ways this can go, different perspectives. perspectives uh, and it really serves its purpose well to be able to do that, you know, considering the story is being told from someone from the outside. So it leaves a lot of room open to that. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, like it's uh, not a straightforward movie, but it's not something that's hard to follow. Uh, you'll pick up on it uh, really quick. Uh, and once again, I, I like the characters. Uh, 
why I always say characters make movie uh, movies. Uh, I believe that you know it's got characters, not necessarily something you know iconic characters, but characters that you will remember. Uh, and then Charlie Hunnam, uh, Matthew McConaughey, and very very strong uh, actors, Henry Golding, uh, very strong actors. You know they do phenomenal jobs. Uh, you know, they, they they really did. I wouldn't say it's, you know, this all-star phenomenal cast, but it's definitely a great cast. Uh, uh, no complaints there, you know, as far as acting. You really do get the feel that these characters are suited for these roles. Like, they, they were cast in, in something that they're competent in and very believable in making you uh, feel them in these roles. I also think Colin Farrell, uh, who... I didn't even know it was going to be in the film. I also thought he did an excellent job in this. Uh, was really in, uh, encouraged. I, I haven't seen him in anything recently, but was really encouraged by this film to see that, you know, you know hey, I, I, I still enjoy uh, seeing him around. Um, if you like uh, action movies, you like adventure movies, uh, if you like comedies, or comedies uh, if you like you know kind of gangster films you know if you like films with a little bit of a plot twist you know things of that nature uh, I really think that you'll enjoy this film uh, it's kind of in the same vein as uh, Knives Out which I saw earlier is a review I did on that if you haven't seen that go watch it uh, I also highly recommend that one uh, but it's, this is kind of if you enjoy you know the type of film that Knives Out was you would really enjoy this film as well uh, if you enjoy Guy Ritchie films, you would enjoy this film. And I really think this is a film that is uh, very much tailored to an uh, average uh, moviegoer. Uh, I don't think that, you know, I've heard some critics say that you have to like his type, Guy Ritchie's type of movie making and like this film. I don't think that's the case. I think that if you're an average moviegoer who likes, you know, action movies, you like gangster films, or, you know, you kind of like mystery, or you kind of like a little drama, character pieces, I think you walk into this film and you'd be very satisfied walking out saying, hey, I really enjoyed that. Uh, so I give it an 8 out of 10. I was not surprised at all to see that it, it got an 85% uh, percent of audiences, uh, audience members who saw it liked it. Uh, that's very much in line with what I thought, you know, it would be. I don't think, you know, a lot of people are, are going to think it's like, you know, a cinematic masterpiece. You know, I gave it an 8 out of 10 just because it's very much uh, my type of movie that I enjoy going to see. Uh, but for the, I, I can tell you that definitely I would not be surprised that 8 out of 10 average uh, audience goers enjoy this film. Uh, that's all I've got for this one. Go uh, check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's really a good movie to see over the weekend to give you something to do, uh, and it's entertaining for sure. You'll definitely be entertained throughout. Uh, that's my review for this one. Thank you guys for watching again. Thank you for your support. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you think I'm an idiot, if you think I'm a genius, <laughs> let me know. Uh, looking forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, thanks for watching once again. See you guys later.